the author of Trust Me Online, Confessions of a Media Manipulator. Ryan, welcome to the Arts and Labs Innovation Central. Thank you. Ryan, you've written a book about how corrupt the internet economy has become. In many ways, your book is a defense of paid content and a critique of the free. Tell me more about what you were trying to say in your book. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to glamorize the old model because it had its problems too, but when people are paying for content, the loyalty is between the content producer and the reader, and the reader and the content producer. When content is free, uh, that link is severed, and so the content producer is, is loyal to the people who pay them, and in this case, the people who pay them is advertisers. So what we see is uh, a breakdown between the journalistic obligation to the truth and uh, the establishment of, of, of their obligation to, to business. And so what I notice as a media manipulator is that the bloggers are much uh, more self-interested than they ever have been in the past, and, and that's bad for journalism. How do we then reestablish the distinction between real content, independent content, and advertising? Is it by establishing paywalls? Is it by forcing consumers to actually pay for their content? Um, I think first we've got to look at the costs of free. And though you're not paying for the internet, those costs go somewhere. They're externalized on you. So if you're not paying for them to produce an article for you, you're paying for it in the fact that it might be inaccurate, that readers do a lot of the fact checking, that it's of a lower quality, um, that the sub, for instance, the subject of the story is, bears a large cost of the inaccurate news. And so um, I, I think we've got to first come to the realization that free isn't free. It's very, very expensive. Um, the, the poet uh, Hesoid said that uh, gossip is a lightweight to pick up, uh, but a heavy one to put down. And uh, that's sort of, I think, free, how, how the free model works. And paid is less expensive than it appears then? Yeah, you bear the costs up front rather than hidden or obscured through a variety of things. Like, you can't get your news in 140 characters and not expect critical or crucial parts of it to be left out. And that's what the real cost of free is. Mm -hmm.